select board meeting to order at 5.04 p.m. And welcome everybody. Uh, we okay, have- well, they've started, so I gotta go take minutes. Goodbye. She's trying to print the agenda. <laughs> of course she is. Um, we have Paul Seminera with us uh, and Orca and of course Dorinda and Randy Drury. Uh, so with that, the first item on the agenda is a highway update discussion with road commissioner about town roads action likely. Mr. Road Commissioner. Yes, thank you. Um, we have been getting a lot of positive uh, uh, comments, as you know, and if you've seen, uh, the crew's doing an excellent job, and I add. Uh, they were around, uh, of course, plowing and sanding, but, uh, and, and pushing snow back from the uh, intersections, as we heard uh, from our town clerk on Culver Hill. Um, they did pick up a few small items uh, uh, while they were out, um, like a torque wrench, and uh, still looking for a, uh, well, I call them a smart level. Um, I don't know if we had one of those before or not. Um, the other thing is they took the uh, Freightliner down to uh, McLeod's last uh, week ago Monday, and they got it back. And they had to replace uh, or put in two new front springs, and uh, yeah, and it it had work on the uh, front there. They had to put a they had to get a new tire, so you may see those in your orders. Uh, I guess it would be next Monday, maybe, or whenever. Um, Shane, myself, and Steve had a meeting last Thursday and went over. Uh, quite a bit of uh, transition material, I guess is what you would call it, and uh, what had done previously, um, basically uh, the budget and um, um, some other things that uh, would be pertinent to Shane. And uh, we also, uh, I'm not sure on this one. I mean, we got a, and maybe Steve can elaborate. We got um, a grant for a uh, rock screen, a portable rock screen. I don't know if that, I don't know what, what, which one that exactly is, but uh, time will tell. We, we actually uh, contacted um, Ashley Bishop and Ashley Andrews, and that's what came out of that. And we did have that. Um, um, Grant and um, Ashley Bishop, which is out of uh, AOT, uh, said that uh, we didn't have any present uh, grants, but we could apply after July first. And uh, yeah, if you want, if uh, Steve wants to uh, update us on that, uh, if you feel it's important about the uh, the uh, rock screen, yeah, that. That screen, Vic, was it's one that that I believe goes on the excavator. Yeah, it's one of those small screens so that you can you know scoop it out of like the ditch and screen it out right there. When you're trying to reclaim uh, something like when you're trying to reclaim uh, ditch stone that's been previously placed. Yes. Okay. That's what I thought. So yeah, with that, unless there's some questions. All right. I love, I love it when they push the snowbanks back. I'll tell you that. What a difference. Yeah, weren't they? Yeah. That made quite a difference, didn't it? Well, some of our intersections, as we all know, the sight lines are bad when the snowbanks get high and it's scary. Right. right. Yeah. Colton Rail Road is the prime example, but there are other places as well. Where was the prime example? Over Hill. Over Hill. Oh, yeah. Right, right. Yeah. When you come when you come down that hill and you try and pull out onto the pavement and people are whistling by at fifty five miles an hour, it's right, <laughs> right, right. It's a little scary. 
a little yeah. scary. I will say the speed has picked up on my road since we widened the road with a winging back the banks. They think that's road all the way out to the edge. <laughs> that and the, uh, the, uh, I noticed the difference uh, when we uh, took the grader out, cut some of the uh, some of the bumps out. Yeah, part of that widening at the same time, and uh, yeah, it's it's as you know, it, it, if any time that we make the road really smooth, the uh, speed picks up. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, any questions? Other questions? Anybody? Thank you. Thank I, you, Pete. Peter, this is Randy. I I think uh, I think one of the questions that comes up to my mind is I'm just wondering if we've seen an uptick of uh, vehicles in the ditches um, that you've noticed. Have you have you gotten any complaints about that, Vic or Steve? I haven't. But no, I, I just I had one. It was a UPS truck uh, one night and. He had chains on the back, but he didn't have them on the front. He came over the top of the hill by Leahy's and went off on the wrong side of the road. I had a neighbor go off the road in front of my house, and they had to get a tow truck. Yeah. I just happened to see, on you know, transporting kids back and forth to school. Uh, you know, McCullough Hill seemed like there was uh, a fair bit more uh, folks in the ditch over the weekend. Um, I've noticed four or five different spots where people have dumped out into the ditch. Um, I know I was, I was pretty close to being pushed off myself with somebody not, not wanting to creep over in their lane far enough. Um, and then the only other comment I had on, on the roads was, you know, coming up over Molly Supel on the shady rail side. Uh, with the road crowned as as bad as it is over there, um, you know, I've noticed during the winter time, um, it, it, it's noticeable. Um, so I just want to make that comment. Just the crown, the amount of crown on on uh, the shady rail side of Molly Supel. Yeah, thanks for mentioning that, and that's something I forgot because when uh, Shane and Steve and I met, we, uh, we had discussed uh, that for, uh, it's not much we can do this year, but maybe next year we can do a little something. Absolutely. And, uh, but we have talked about it and uh, yeah, it, 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 you, I th actually, I thought it was you went off the, with your tractor down by your driveway, but no, uh, evidently not, huh? No, no. <laughs> oh, there, there are a few spots. Uh, uh, I have, I, I haven't had anybody call me, but uh, I've had I've stopped a couple of times when people were off in, uh, well, twice and being a couple. And uh, both people said that the, they had to pull, they had to get over because the person coming towards them was driving in the middle of the road, which on McCullough Hill happens quite often. Yeah, and that was, that was my instance as well. I've had, I've had two instances of uh, young people off the road in the ditch. One car was four-wheel drive with summer tires, and it was a nice snowy day. Um, and the other had chains on one front wheel and four bald summer tires. <laughs> so there's no accounting for, uh, for common sense. I can't believe people would let their kids out on the roads with cars like that. It's unbelievable. Anyway, anyway, we're going to get our share of that. We know that. Um, but I would say overall, the roads have been well sanded. The conditions have been great. I mean, this is the first time we've had anything that even approached rain or even a little icy conditions. So I think it's been good. Okay, uh, treasurer's report. Update on town financial issues. Wow. No, no issues. Um, the uh, you guys have an updated budget status um, that's with the checks through tonight. Um, you'll see on a couple of them, like one of them are computer uh, software or our computer support is like way excessively over budget or quite a bit over budget. And we're uh, we still got a ways to go. Um, we just got I think five or six bills from RB technology where they hadn't been billing us. 
Yeah, I saw and, that. Um, so we finally caught up with that. And so those all got put into tonight's orders. Um, but there's a lot of, I know we've had a lot of work done like with the highway computer and that, but we are. All the email setup stuff is. All that, yeah. I thought there were an awful lot of them though when I looked at it, I was going. Well, they go, yeah, all, the it, back, they go all the way back to July. Yeah, oh, okay. But it's interesting, you know, and even that there's one more that we didn't get that because um, we went back and looked at all of them and I don't know what it is, if it's the bookkeeper there or what, but we're still missing December's. So that, that one will be added to it. Huh. But there's a lot of overage time on it and that's what generates a lot of the extra over what the regular support is. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that that's basically it. Um, Liz, I don't know if you read the most recent email from uh, the grant issue. Um, I don't know what's going on. Everybody had all the invoices that they could have been loaded into the system prior to me sending them to um, got her name. But um, the yeah. other... But she's still not even accepting, evidently, it sounds like a statement from Du Bois and King saying all the bills are paid is not acceptable proof of payment. So we've now got to go back and print out. Um, we don't have canceled checks, so we'll have to go back and print out something. But I, this is crazy. I know. I'm sorry, Dorinda, that it, I, I do feel like it's a little bit like Groundhog Day. Like, I'm like, oh, yeah. my gosh, like, haven't we done this? Like, and, and so I think that this speaks to um, the need to, <laughs> when we get a grant, set the parameters about who's in charge of what. And the reality is that I had nothing to do with that grant, but somehow I got roped into it. Right. And it just became this like, um, you know, situation where because the planning commission didn't have the authority to be in the grant database that it sort of fell to one of us. But I think moving forward, you know, especially like with this grant that we have for the capital spending plan, there's going to be stuff that we have to do. And who's going to be in charge of that? It'll probably be me. Um, but like, that's something that we need to just decide or mm -hmm. think about as we get these grants. Can I just can I say some really briefly? So I talked to uh, I talked to Amy about this because this is uh, when when Patty and I would work on grants, we just had a system where as soon as a check was paid, she had that. Do you call it the check stub? What do you call that thing at the bottom of the check? It's a check stub. Yeah. Okay. She would attach the check stub to with the account number and just gave me a copy of that, and I would just put it in the grant book, and that seemed to satisfy everybody. It showed no. This woman wants a uh, proof of the canceled check, or I have to give a log out of our system and attest to the log that it's true and accurate. Oh, geez. Well, that's, oh. that is new. <laughs> so can we, can we go in into the online system and get copies of the checks, but they're not canceled, are they? They don't. I don't know if they'd show they might, but I'll figure it out. I just think I mean, their direction of what they needed is clear as mud as well. So, you know, that doesn't help. You would think something by Du Bois and King would satisfy their requirement, you know, saying everything was paid in full, but it didn't. Well, all the more, all the more reason for the discussion we're going to have in a couple of minutes here. Yep. Um, so I just have I just have one quick comment, which really isn't on the agenda, but I want to make sure. Speaking of those extra RB bills and implementing our new email system, that everybody has gotten into that email system, and because it, at some point in time, Phil's shaking his head. At some point in time, we need to say, okay, that's how we're going to be communicating with each other. Exactly. Um, yeah, I've still got a half a dozen people who I've nudged but haven't signed in yet and i'm going to give them, I, would give them, I would give them a good poke phil and tell them yeah. they're going to be and i see mary 
Skinner smiling at me. Yeah. Um, that they're going to be born if they don't get in there. We need oh, Dave, to Dave and I both had problems, but I'm going to go do it later. Um, right okay. now, I had to handle all this ballot stuff. So I know there's ever a good time, but this has just been absolutely crazy. So if I could just have until Friday. You you can. Oh, sure. I, I And I knew that with town meeting coming up and all the craziness this year, I figured we would we would definitely make a drop dead date once we've passed town meeting and Thank Sarah's you. done with all that other craziness. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna send out another firmer nudge <laughs> um, and then a kick. Tell them the next call will be from, be from me and it'll be a personal visit and it won't be pleasant. Okay. <laughs> I, I always try and be pleasant, but I'm just saying we've yeah. made this huge investment in doing this and yeah. a lot of time and effort's been put into it and a lot of money's been spent on it. We need to get it implemented. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Phil, there's no issue with us setting it up on the town computers. RB doesn't have to do that. Nope. Okay. Nope. All right. If you need help, just let me know. But it's, okay. It it should be a piece of cake, just like any other email. I got it set up on mine here at home, but I, you know, I haven't done it on the you one down at the office. On the town side, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, because Holland did all the back end stuff which is why then I just sent you out that piece that says, if you go here, click here, put in this password, go in and change it, it should come up. Yeah. And then we just have to, I wanna get all the stuff for those of you who had you know, Comcast addresses, um, especially for Sarah and for you, Dorinda, um, get the old stuff taken off the other account and forward it into the new one. So I'll have an archive copy of, of all that. Right, but we'll, if people continue, and this is something else I wanted to ask, if people continue to email the Comcast email, will it automatically continue to forward we number will... one? Yes. And number two, the accounting has some definite issues with making this transition because a lot of that is password. Um, it's like a security feature in a lot of our banking stuff and a lot of our reports that we have to do that our email address is associated with the account. So, um, oh, it, I see. so it could be, I don't know how that's going to fall into place, but I think we could possibly have an issue there. Well, you probably have to change wherever it's been at a Comcast, we'll have to change it to the new address, but we can, you can do that over time as long as we put a forwarding, um, <laughs> lost my train of thought, a forwarding address in there. So it automatically forwards and yeah, yeah but you probably will have to change if it's associated with a specific email address. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, but there, okay. ought to be a way, there ought to be a way to contact them and change the email address that's associated with that account. Yeah. Is it mostly banking stuff, Dorinda? I believe it's banking. And I think Amy said there was also some of our um, automatic, uh, automatic deposits and things that we make with, um, like, I don't know if it was into Veemers or if it was into one of those accounts that it was um the email our me email she said is the security it's probably being used as the password no she didn't the say password, it was the password. It's the username i don't know i'll have to okay. i'll find out when i install it and get more information okay okay we just have to yeah you know <laughs> there's no drop dead date but we could fiddle around with this for another year if we don't uh exactly. no we're gonna make a drop dead date we don't get it done. Mary. <laughs> I'll work on it. I have a lot of stuff going on this weekend. <laughs> well, it, you know, anyway, guys, I'm glad to try and help too. I haven't, I haven't delved into getting it on my phone yet. That's my next project, but I haven't anyway. done that either. Um, anything else, Dorinda? Any questions for Dorinda? So uh, the next issue on our agenda is considering hiring a municipal accountant action likely. So uh, we had an executive session, we came out of executive session, we told our candidate what we intended to do and now we need to do it. So is there any more discussion on this topic before we have a motion and take action? 
Who would like to make that motion? Well, first of all, who who is the, what's the name of the candidate that you guys would like to discuss for the I for didn't, the minutes? Didn't you get a copy of his resume? I just need to get it into the minutes that you guys are discussing. Here. Hold on. Hold it's on. Hold on. Mark Mark Kinsley. McKinsley. Yep. Yep. And that's M-A-R-K, right? Yes. Yeah. Is it K I N S E L Y? S E L Y, okay. S E L Y, okay. S E L Y, yeah. Uh, and I'll bring down all of this paperwork. Okay, okay so I'll, I'll make the motion that we offer Mark uh, the position as uh, discussed. And I think we were going <clears> to <throat> leave this for Dorinda to negotiate the, the specific. Um, Specifics around uh, compensation. I think we discussed this a certain range, and um, there was a contingency. Did we have a contingency here? We were going to do this subject to uh, so approval of the budget at town meeting. Okay. Did you get that, Sarah? You're hiring Mark Kinsley as a part-time municipal accountant, provided the line the it is the budget passes at town meeting. Correct. I will say, let me just jump in there. I think you said that even if it didn't pass, though, that you would really need to consider moving forward on this. But well, um, I think we do. But I think I think for now, just to build okay. a little fail safe in there, just in case, isn't a isn't a bad thing. And he agreed to it. So yeah, okay. Um, and I guess I guess the other the other and I'm not I'm not putting words in your mouth, Phil, but I sort of am. The other the other part of what we discussed is that Dorinda is going to work out the the soft um, peddling of this to to Amy and work out the training schedule and dates of hire and mm -hmm. already done. Okay. How to go. How to go. Hey. Went well. Good. Went well. Good. Okay. It's not part of the motion. Not okay. part of the motion. Not part of the motion. Do we have a second for the motion? I'll second that. Okay, thanks, Steve. Uh, any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, here we go. Uh, so, Dorinda, you want to let him know? Yeah, yeah. I did get an email from him after the interview thanking everybody for the interview so um yeah so we're all set to go right. Right. i just note that i abstained because i wasn't there i don't know anything about this guy so i just didn't vote okay hey, no that's fine um i would i would say we uh i mean basically the overview we is we liked him a lot he's a really nice guy he he really seemed to get what our situation and yep and problem was and it didn't seem to scare him a bit yeah. so he actually, he actually, Liz, was enthusiastic about learning about town government and about our town. It, it's, it's and, about, and about grants. And about, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I did have a quick conversation with Nemrick and told them the background of this person. And they said the biggest obstacle, it's not going to be the accounting side. It's going to be the difference between doing the books between a pro profit and a municipal government. Right. And that's where he's going to probably find his most of his frustration. But yeah. we'll get his we'll references. Get through it. Did you check his references? Yeah. Uh, no. No. He worked at IBM and global systems. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm big on making sure that the person yeah. we hire has their references checked, especially for a money position. We didn't get um we didn't get any references first off, and secondly, the board made the decision. Okay. <laughs> you steal yeah. our money, Liz. You can say I told you so. Yeah, exactly. Dorinda, does he have to be bonded? Yes. Uh, no. Not well, he doesn't have to it's be for the bookkeeper. He's covered, yeah. under our, he's covered under our bond. Our, he's uh -oh. covered under our insurance. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So good. 
Um, oh, we got a bunch of minutes here. Approving January 19th and 26th, February 2nd and 11 select board minutes. The only one Phil can't vote on is the 19th. I'll move approval of the other two. Other, there are more than that. Other four. four. Of the other four. And Liz, but Liz, Liz wasn't, wasn't at, at and Liz wasn't at the Liz wasn't at the last one. We need right. to do. I was there. I just wasn't there for this executive session. Right. Okay. So we yeah, still can. Do, okay. Yep. We can do the other three, and I move them. Okay. And I'll second. Okay. And those three, for the record, just so we're clear, are which dates? Those are going to be the uh, 19th, 22nd, uh, 20, 19th, 26th, and 2nd, because those that, and well, I don't, well, there are four all together, so I'm confused why, Mary, you attended all four, didn't you? I did. So why don't you move all four? Move all four, and he can abstain from one. And then Phil can abstain from the 19th. Who's going to okay. second those? Okay, I, uh, okay, I move all four. So who was the seconder? Well, I was. So will you second that motion, amended motion? If I'm able to, yeah. Yes, you are. <laughs> I mean, because I left the meeting early, that's all. Well, aren't you there? You're there, though. Yeah. yeah. For voting purposes. Okay, so I second it. Okay, so we are approving all four minutes, and Phil is abstaining from one of them. He's abstained from the 19th. 19th. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Closed? For the 19th. Yep. <laughs> Let the record show that Phil was accusing himself from the 19th. Okay. Approving the, the Red Hand Baker's application for a Class 3 Vermont liquor license renewal action likely. Motion. Move, move approval. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? And we uh and I just asked one question about that the general issue. Did the filling station open last weekend? I don't know. I do know that after that meeting on Thursday, I actually took the I put the everything in the mail at the Montpelier post office that night. So they can I don't think we can get any service faster than that. Nice job. Sarah, I don't, think, I don't think they opened and there were still contractors trucks there today, but they can't. They can't have gotten their state liquor license that fast, so. No, but maybe the they, maybe the license is waiting for them when they came to work this morning to work to work on. Let's hope. There you go. And we have a uh, resignation to consider. Phil is resigning from the zoning board of adjustment, and I don't think we need to take real action on that other than to, to accept his resignation and thank him for his service. Does that need to be a motion, Sarah? I don't think so. No, I don't think so either. Thanks, Phil. Thank you, Phil. You're welcome. We're gonna Hello. miss you. <laughs> All you have to do is just say that you wanna you want to post, post a vacancy for that board right away. Yes. Okay, let's do it. Okay. And we should not be at this point, and I know the answer to my question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. We should not be posting at this time for letters of interest in, in positions that have no one on the ballot in case we get enough write-ins. Well, this is not a ballot. Uh, this is not a ballot. This is an appointed board. I know this isn't, but I'm saying in addition, while we're sending out a request for letters of interest. No, we wait until March. Yeah, we wait yeah, until yeah. the March town meeting passes and then see who runs and who writes in and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, correspondence. Uh, nothing. And you've got enough order, people, Dorinda? Yes. <laughs> so we have about uh, 15 minutes. Anybody got any good stories? 15? I have 25. Well, why don't, we, why don't we back out and then I'll start the meeting. And I think there's some people here. Um, uh, they went away. Uh, the Browns were coming in. So I think it, just to reduce confusion, I think a good idea might be to, to end this meeting and then we can restart the other meeting because that's that'll be, that'll be clear on people's Zooms. They're, yep. they know, yeah. Okay. But it's the same ID. You're going to start it at like 10 of? 
I'm going to start it as soon as this meeting is over. Do we have to log in with a different number? I think you just, I don't know. Well, I think you just do the same thing. I, I tried to keep the ideas all consistent, yeah. so that shouldn't be anything special. I thought it was the same seven. It is. Three. It is, but it just to reduce confusion and also for our recording purposes, I've got, I have each one of these meetings recorded. So uh, that'll give us a separate meeting. Okay. okay. Not gonna come back in until 10 to six though. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna start so people can just sign in. Okay. See y'all later. So you're journey at 534? Thanks everybody. Yeah. Yeah. See you soon. Bye. Wait, I don't understand what's happening. You're gonna now. You're gonna. You're gonna now. You're going to log in, oh, Liz. <laughs> you're gonna log into the information out. meeting. Bye, Liz. We'll see you next week. Bye, bye. Okay, so wait, I'm gonna log out and then I'm gonna log back in at six, ten of six. You're gonna log in for the informational meeting. Yes. Okay. Is it a different link? No. It's the same thing, but it starts at six. So this just keeps things cleaner for recording purposes. Okay. Bye. Bye, bye. bye.